It's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with the coach. Today we have a question from Gat Link who commented on uh, one of my videos, Lessons Learned from 29 Martial Arts YouTubers, where I discuss some life lessons or practical lessons that I picked up from watching videos from other martial arts YouTubers. Gat Link says, thanks for the recommendations. I couldn't check all of them out yet, but those I did check out are super cool people. One thing, though, that I couldn't ignore, there is not a single woman on this list. And it made me realize that I didn't know of any martial art YouTube channel led by a woman, which is weird because I've seen women in every martial arts class I ever took. Sometimes men were even outnumbered. Do you have any hypothesis as to why women martial artists are so rare on YouTube? Well, look... YouTube, first of all, is a male-dominated space. We talk about male-dominated spaces a lot in the PC culture. YouTube is one of those. The overwhelming majority of people who use YouTube are men. So if you look at my YouTube analytics, 99.9% .9 of all of my viewers on almost every video are men. And it's not just who's watching my videos, it's who's using YouTube, who's uploading videos. It is a male-dominated space. Now, it's open to everybody. YouTube isn't trying to push women away. In fact, quite the contrary. They want to bring in as many people into the platform as they can. It's just something about the idea of uploading videos where you are presenting yourself to the world is just more appealing to men for whatever reason than it is for women. Now, there are tons of female YouTubers out there, tons of females who watch YouTube, but they are outnumbered vastly by men. Now, as far as martial arts, you'll notice those statistics are actually very similar for martial arts. Now you say, we've got tons of women in my gym. Well, if you, like, what percentage are we talking about? Out of like 10, 20, 30 guys, you've got 10% women, one woman for every man. That's pretty typical. I've visited lots and lots of gyms over the years, man. I've seen at least a hundred different gyms in the last two years, man. <laughs> at least a hundred different ones. And gyms in general are male-dominated spaces. Martial arts gyms much so, much more so. So if your martial arts gym is dominated by women, if there are more women than men, if there are tons of women, that's not normal. That's the exception, not the norm. So martial arts YouTubers who are female, let's, um, let me recommend a few to you. Let's see here. What is her name? I'm blanking on the name. She is a jujitsu blue belt. She has a channel about jujitsu. There we go. Realize BJJ life with Crystal. She is a jujitsu practitioner. She's got a great channel. She used to be a bouncer, which is quite interesting. Her stories about being a bouncer are fascinating, especially considering that she didn't have the the size or the strength or the intimidation factor of the rough-looking guy that most bouncers tend to have. So her, her bouncing stories are so fascinating. But, yeah, great channel. She's done some MMA fights as well. And heavily underrated, I think. Let's see, how many subscribers does Crystal have? Uh, 5.7 thousand subscribers. So hopefully, if, if uh, those of you watching are interested in seeing some more female-oriented um, martial arts content on YouTube, go check out Realize BJJ Life. Who else? How about Samory Morris? I actually knew Samory Morris when she was a little kid because I trained in Taekwondo, among other gyms, with uh, Samory's sister, her older sister. Anyway, Samory is now a fourth-degree black belt in Taekwondo, and she's got a great channel, um, I think her channel is now called Black Belt Samory. That's spelled S-A-M-E-R-Y. It's all about Taekwondo, so if you're into Taekwondo, great, go check out Samory Morris. Great information about Taekwondo. Entertaining content. And if you're looking for women in martial arts, hey, she's a woman too, so there you go. So another great female martial artist who has a fantastic YouTube channel, Sylvie Von Douglas Itu, Muay Thai. That's the name of the channel, Sylvie Von Douglas Itu Muay Thai. 
So, yeah, Sylvia is a professional Muay Thai fighter. She's had a ton of fights, a ton of fights. She's very knowledgeable, very experienced, you know, just an absolute badass and super cool, super cool. So I, I enjoy her channel a lot. She's got a lot of uh, great interviews on there, some instructional content, some, some fights, some fight commentary, etc. She has 77,000 subscribers, so um, yeah, go give her a subscription. So if you're looking for women in martial arts, you can't find any. There's one right there. She's awesome. Go tell her I said hi. Another woman running a martial arts channel on YouTube you might not have heard of, Professora Boracinha Capoeira. It's a capoeira channel, 88,000 subscribers, and it's all about capoeira. So, yeah, she's got instructional videos, she's got some highlight reels, she's got a bunch of videos showing off some cool moves, and yeah, she's a woman, fantastic capoeirista. So, don't tell me that there are no women out there on YouTube doing martial arts. Here's another one for you. So I'm going to give you some more recommendations a little later that I'm more familiar with, but I was just thinking, how hard is it to find female martial artists on YouTube? And I just typed in female BJJ enter, and I found Maya Nazareth, who has 1.88k subscribers and 33 videos. And her channel is about her jujitsu training and also her fightwear company. She started a fightwear company, a small business owner at age 20 from the look of it. So yeah, she's vlogging about her martial arts journey. Not a lot of subscribers there, but I found her channel in like two seconds, just looking for females in martial arts and jujitsu in particular. So let's see what else we can find. You may or may not know about Jade Shu. Jade is a wushu practitioner, Chinese martial arts forms, Taolu. She has some competition footage on her channel. She's got some action reels. She's got forms, some stunts, this sort of stuff. It's not a fighting channel. It's a, well, it's a forms channel. Anyway, Jade is a very talented wushu artist, so go check her out. She's got 88, no, 82,000 subscribers, 61 videos on her channel. Doesn't upload very frequently, but when she does, it's pretty good as far as wushu goes. Go check her out. What list of female martial artists would not be complete without Cynthia Rothrock, the absolute queen of 90s action movies, man? She has a YouTube channel, did you know that? She has 36,000 subscribers. Let's make that number higher. Cynthia is awesome. She has starred in a ton of movies, some of them absolutely spectacular, some of them on the more campy side, but I love them all, man. One of the greatest fight scenes of all time star Cynthia Rothrock. I made a video reviewing it on this channel. It is hilarious. It is awesome. It is just wonderful in every way. Mwah. Go show Miss Rothrock some love. Love her channel. She is a traditional martial arts practitioner. She's got vlogs on her channel. She's got workouts, stretching routines, you know, how to, how to get flexible and do the splits, you know, stuff about working in the film industry, action movies, etc. So, great stuff. Here's another channel I just found looking for like 30 seconds in the search bar, just typing women, martial art, women, BJJ, etc. Abby Chavez. Abby Chavez, 638 subscribers, only 74 videos. And just looking through her video library, there's some quality stuff here. Abby looks like she is a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She's got instructional videos. She's got vlogs. She's got Q&A. She's got some comedy sketches. Great stuff. I'm going to be taking a look at this channel a little bit more in the future. So, yeah, looks like a lot of fun. So go show Abby some love. Hey, do you guys remember Ronda Rousey, former UFC champion? What, you forgot about her? Well, she does have a YouTube channel and it does have 1.6 million subscribers. Now, she posts a lot of life vlogs, a lot of WWE stuff since that's what she's doing now, but she still posts judo content, judo instructionals, some training videos every once in a while. So, hey, she's a female martial artist. You've probably heard of her. She has a YouTube channel. That's a thing. How about Chris Cyborg? Remember her? Oh, man, this lady that was the most feared woman in mixed martial arts where she has a YouTube channel and she 
almost has 100,000 subscribers. Hey, let's help Chris get her silver play button. She's got 99.9K subscribers, 749 quality videos on martial arts, instruction, fight, vlogs, etc. So, yeah, she's there. Why aren't you watching? Speaking of professional fighters, a ton of professional fighters have their own YouTube channels. Take, for example, Michelle Watterson, the Karate Hottie. She has her own YouTube channel. 23,000 subscribers, 27 videos, some training videos, vlogs, fight commentary, etc. So, yeah, she exists. People seem to like her in the UFC, so you might like her YouTube channel. This next one is not a channel that I would recommend for any practical reason because she's a proven fraud and I've made some exposés on some of her questionable content, but since the argument was there are no female martial artists on YouTube, one of the most popular martial arts channels on YouTube is a female, Cynthia Kandranaya. She is a Salat pra practitioner. Where is she from? Indonesia? Anyway somewhere in Southeast Asia, and she's got a ton of content out, out there. It is widely viewed, very popular. Again, 1.57 million subscribers. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for practical purposes outside of entertainment or just knowing, hey, there's a woman out there doing martial arts stuff. Because why? She made a video about how to dodge bullets. Yeah, how to dodge bullets. How to break rocks without touching them with your magical Hadouken chi powers. Yeah, this is this is the sort of thing we're talking about. Most of the stuff on her channel, honestly, is fight choreography being passed off as self-defense. So let's show a cool bah, 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 John Wick-style fight scene. There, there's your self-defense. No, nah, not really. Uh, Cynthia, go make some movies, man. Go get into the movie business. Be a fight choreographer. That seems to be what you're good at. Wizards aren't real. Let me repeat that. Wizards aren't real. Every time I point this out on the internet, people get very, very angry. No, Ramsey ruined my hopes and dreams. I want wizards to be real. Wizards are not real. But women in martial arts on the internet, that is a real thing. What actually comes up on YouTube when you type in martial arts? Let's try that out. Okay, martial arts. Uh, and this is going to vary depending on what the YouTube robots think you want to watch your viewing history, etc. But here's what my search resulted for just the term martial arts. First video, Gabriel Varga, six martial arts myths you need to stop believing, published one day ago. Next one from Howcast, outside defense against punches, part one Krav Maga defense where they do like, ha, and block and attack, throat strike at the same time. Uh, third one, martial artist ranks Tekken seven characters from Gameology, not a martial arts channel, but a gaming channel where we have a female martial artist who apparently... I wonder if she has a YouTube channel. Let's let's find out. Who is this lady? Gemma. We don't know Gemma's last name. Ah, uh, Gemma Nguyen. Okay, there we do know her last name. She has an Instagram account. Gemma Nguyen at Instagram, but we don't have a YouTube channel. This is something I've seen a lot. There are a ton of martial arts Instagram people a lot more than there are martial arts YouTube people. It's probably because it's it's easier to make short Instagram reels than it is to make longer form YouTube content. Anyway, next we have Yang Style Taiji Twin with Adam Misner showing some wizard stuff. How to be a wizard. Whoa. Wizards aren't real, friends. The next one, Street Fighter X Tekken, a fan film. Ooh, I love fan films based on fighting video games. I'm a sucker for that stuff. I'll have to save that one for later. Where's my save button? Um, okay. What's next? Some knife defense stuff from Combat Self-Defense, how knife fighting really works. Again, no women there. Um, the Ultimate Self-Defense Challenge number four, episode number four. Hey, I'm in that one. That's from the Martial Arts Journey channel. The next one, oh, it's one of my videos, Shui Zhao, China's oldest martial art, where we give you a demo of Shui Zhao, Chinese folk wrestling with the short sleeve jacket. So, so far, no women's martial arts channels. I'm just going to keep scrolling down till I see one. We have another Gameology video with uh, Gemma looking at Tekken from the look of it. 
still no female martial arts channels. When we just search for martial arts in general, it kind of looks like we have to refine our search and type something in there like female or girl or woman or who knows to find a, a woman who does martial arts. Oh, about one page down, we found one of Sam Marie Morris's videos. Uh, Learn Martial Arts 3 Basic Kicks for Beginners. 3.5 million views. That is an excellent video to learn some basic kicks for beginners. So there we go. We did find a female martial artist, one I had already pointed out to you, on the main page of search results. Martial arts is kind of a niche subject on YouTube, as it is. There are... You might say, well, there are so many... Well, there are a lot more videos about a lot of other things. As far as the most popular videos on YouTube, we've got music. That's way, way more popular by leaps and bounds, by light years, as opposed to martial arts, man. Yoga. Yoga content is so much bigger on YouTube than martial arts. <sighs> skin care, man. My wife is way into skin care, and so she watches a lot of skin care channels. These channels have so many views, so many subscribers. It makes me think, man, did I, <laughs> did I choose the wrong specialty in life, man? The real money's in skin care, apparently, because everybody has skin, but not everybody practices martial arts. So, yeah, simple things like that. Skin care, music, yoga, boom. That's where you're going to see all the eyeballs. Martial arts is niche. It's a relatively tiny community. There are a few standouts. You'll have some channels like mine that, that have a few videos with millions of views. You've got guys like Icy Mike and Rokas from Martial Arts Journey and Jeff Chan who've had some wildly successful videos. And it, it kind of creates this illusion that everything we do, oh, everything we do is, is massive. And it's simply not true, especially in the grand scheme of the entertainment business because what we're putting out isn't, necessarily entertainment it might be entertaining but the the objective is largely to educate and people don't want to feel like they're in school when they sit down and click on a video and just want to relax and pass some time after work after a hard day it's like oh man oh, i had a hard day at work let's let's force my mind to work even more and memorize some facts and some things and run through some drills and do more work ah man so, when you have a niche hobby like martial arts and a niche community like the martial arts YouTube community, which is already small, and we already know that a tiny fraction of martial artists in general are females, and a tiny fraction of martial artists in general put their content out on the internet, it's, it's going to follow suit. It should not be a mystery. We should not be surprised by this. But if you want to do something about it, they're out there. Just type in the search terms. You can find them. I gave you what you asked for. Is it what you want? Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train.